What's up guys, Seth Fighter. I'm gonna show you how to rig a hair jig. I don't do any trim into the jig itself. I want it as big and poofy as I can get it. Um, but what, one thing I do to it is add a trailer to it. And um, that does a couple things for you. It adds a bit of weight, uh, so it gives you longer casts. And then it also makes them a little, um, bushes them up a little bit too when you put that trailer on there. Um, and when I say trailer, this isn't gonna be sticking out past the hair jig at all. This is a, a Z-Man, Ticklers. Uh, what I do, I'll cut these little tentacles off the end of it. I, I like a bait that's tapered. Um, come up here, take about three quarters of an inch of it, and it's kind of got a taper to it. So I'll take that fat end. And that's what I'm going to thread in on the hook. Try to get all that hair back as best I can. Um, Take that thread on the hook. Like I said, this you're, the fish aren't going to see this, so it really doesn't matter what you're using or what color. But the thing, the thing I like about the Z-Man stuff is you still get a lot of weight with it, but uh, you don't really get any. You know, a lot of those trailers got a lot of uh, salt in them, so it'll weigh your bait down quite a bit. And this one um, takes a little longer to get on there with it being the Z-Man. Takes a couple more pushes just to get everything in place, but once it's in place, it's not going to come down at all. And uh, with that taper on there, I still got a nice big fat chunk going up against my hair, which is going to bulk it up real nice. But with the taper, I'm not losing any of that hook bite, hook gap. So, you know, when that gets wet, that'll make that jig bulk up quite a bit, having that fat head on there. And I'm not losing any of my hook gap, and it's adding a lot of weight for casting but I'm not really affecting my buoyancy because that plastic floats so it's not going to weigh my jig down in the water but uh, that's all I do to a hair jig, tie it on, fish it, that's it.